At the Supreme Court today, the focus again on campaign finance in the case some have described, as I said, is Citizens United on steroids. And Andrew, what do we have to know about this? And this is just in, inside baseball. This will affect not just House and Senate here, but races across the board. Yeah, it, it, all over the place, Rich. But basically the upshoot of the uh, oral arguments today that if you keep support keeping money out of politics. It seems to have been a bad day in the Supreme Court. Washington Post describing the justices as skeptical of limits on campaign contributions. Citizens United, you'll recall, was focused on businesses, groups, and unions giving money to political organizations. Today's case, known as McCutcheon, focuses on individual people and what they can give to candidates directly and to political committees. That's a subtle, but for many, a key difference. And since in Citizens United, this same court essentially rolled back restrictions on how much people can give. Many suspect they'll do the same in this case. Once again, it could be Chief Justice John Roberts nudging the court in the direction he sees. Roberts, during oral arguments, saying he's uncomfortable restricting donations below levels that would create the appearance of corruption. So what that level is remains unclear. Both sides with legitimate arguments on the issue made clear in an exchange between old friends and ideological opposites. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg saying, quote, by having these limits, you are promoting democratic participation. Then the little people will count some. She was immediately countered by Justice Antonin Scalia, who responded, quote, I assume a law that only prohibits the speech of 2% of the country is OK. And on our panel once again tonight is our regular Supreme Analyst Mark Furnish, if I can give you that title. Uh, and you've argued before Not the Supreme Court. Not when it comes to campaign finance, you got to kick that over to the election. Mm -hmm. but, all, but at least from the oh, reading of the court and from what happened in, in court today, all the, the signs point towards them continuing to expand this money flow into politics. Well, the ship has already sailed, right? We're just sort of rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic. Cause there, the there's a metaphor. <laughs> the, the, yeah, mixing my, my nautical metaphors. Um, the perception is already that big money controls politics because corporations can give money to these committees without any restriction at all. So this is just uh, an, another um, step down an already bad road. But there is a difference between a group giving, uh, giving to a political action committee versus giving directly to a candidate, isn't there? I'm, no, no, I'm asking the two former not candidates. If you can, not if you're concerned about the harm that's done. The, 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 the right of speech, take the most, the prize right, is not unlimited. Uh, obscenity, for example, is, is limited. No one seems to argue about that. If you can establish, if the Congress can establish that there's harm similar to that kind of harm done by these large contributions, mm. then the right to restrict it is, 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 should not be a problem. What you've got here is a rearranging of the power deck chairs, the first class deck chairs, in which the rich are getting more access, more control, more power, and the average citizen's getting less. That is hiding behind the notion of somehow this is a free speech issue. It's you know, not. Dom, I, I think people think about this and they say, oh, this presidential race or whatever, but to me, the more glaring examples, think about it. You can buy a judge. Literally. You know? It's funny. You said, <laughs> oh, New we, York. <laughs> we're arranging the I chairs. Don't, I don't think you can buy a federal judge. I, I don't think that's no, true. No, okay. any well, election. Right, you any know, that so a judge's got to run. I mean, an elect it, an it's elected funny judge, you okay. said the Titanic, because yeah. that's exactly what this is, what the Supreme Court is deciding. I'm glad you use the term judges. You literally, not only a judge, I'm going to go buy me a public official. I'm going to buy, you know, I'm going to spend, Andrew and I are going to put our pennies together, and we're going to come up with millions, and we're going to buy somebody, and that person is going to advocate every single issue that we believe in, like because the that. two of us, we amount to, That's we are the people. That's not how it works. It's oh, just really? a bit. They don't buy people who change their views because they, uh, they get money that they put in their yeah, pocket. Yeah. Oh, they don't. That's no, not they it, don't. Dominic. They, they don't. don't. They, they don't. don't. Okay. They don't. Well, well, what they do is they fund <laughs> campaigns right? that elect people who agree with them, yeah. just as bad in the outcome, <laughs> but don't be that cynical. <laughs> but yeah, I am that cynical, but, because if you're going to tell me, Mr. Brodsky, that politicians are not bought, I'm going to tell you that the Brooklyn Bridge is for sale. Yeah, the, but, the, but you know what? You would, be, you would be wrong. You, no, I'm not wrong. No, hear, hear him out just a sec. Uh, you are, you're not influenced by the money you... You You're not. Get, no. No. You are, what you are... No, no, you, you <laughs> know what? Go ahead, go ahead, Give me a chance. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, if you gave me a lot of money... But we're not talking about no, you. No, you no, two no, no, wait, wait, no. Let me just tell, If Let's, you gave okay. me a lot of money, I would be sure to answer the phone and I'd be sure to have a phone call. 
But if it's not going to be something I can defend and, and feel comfortable with my constituents, I ain't voting for it because i got to get okay, reelected. That's you two. No, but how about, that's wait, 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 about wait, okay, but wait, let, let me just have this say, why don't we tell this to Malcolm Smith and those other clowns in New York City Come that on. are under, wait, let Dominic, me finish. That's already let, crooked. Me, let me finish, but they're under federal indictment. That's right, and they're crooks, and there are 5% of them that are, and you're talking about the system as though it's 95% true. I'm talking about Albany, in which about 60% it, are corrupt. The, it's to nonsense. To bring it back to it's the, just the more nonsense. concrete issue, isn't the problem with this whole thing is that the individual restrictions on contributions are so easily evaded by giving large monies large amounts of monies to but action I committees mark, I think or this is a little different for me and I, and I, we were talking about this last night I'm sure if you're West Virginia if you're running for office in West Virginia remember the tragic mine disaster um, and the biggest employer there is that coal industry now instead of with subterfuge and getting 50 guys or write checks for 2400 bucks or whatever if you want to make this issue number one two and three you can not only find the right candidate you want you can own the airways and buy up every available commercial spot you want and all the other means. I'm talking to somebody who probably knows about the power of unlimited financial opportunities for opponents. In effect, you're, you're deciding the issue and you're going to decide the outcome if that official is going to have to render decisions on particular industries. I don't remember it being as blatant as that in the past. This could be a consequence of it. What's the answer to this? Every election cycle, you see two candidates get up there vying for office. One says, I won't take any special interest money if you agree not to take any special interest money. And they, there are recriminations, charges back and forth, and they both always end up taking special interest but, money. But, but what, how is that cycle ever going to change? If two or five or ten wrongs don't make a right, uh, this is another wrong. Oh, I agree you know? with that. So it's, it's, and yeah, I'm not it's convinced, like a, though, by the way, that the... I think the problem, yeah. is, the problem is not that you're bought off. It's that members spend so much time raising money that they don't spend time doing their job. That's what's bad about money in politics. And let's remember that Dominic is an example of people who took money and put it in their pockets. These discussions in these cases are about money that goes into a public war chest that is spent on campaigns. It's legal. It's, well, it, that's, that, in that difference, that, that solves the Dominic problem. No, it doesn't the, solve it, but go the, ahead. The, 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 <laughs> Thank you for telling me my problem is solved. <laughs> but you, you got too many problems to solve. It's a dirty job, and somebody that. has to do yeah. it. Yeah. The, well, the, <laughs> it's speaking of a dirty job and attempt to keep us on a remote idea of time. <laughs> the story everybody at the table seen, everybody at home has seen, the bikers. Um, and what came out of that horrible incident on the West Side Highway, but now it turns out the bikers aren't the regular uh, motorcycle club here. Yeah, I've got a couple of cops here in the middle of this as well. We've got more developments in this road rage incident uh, that, as I said, has captured the attention of a country. Off-duty officers, actually part of the band of bikers. And then the question is, what happens to them, how they should be treated, and now conversations about that paralyzed person and what kind of civil recourse you may even have. Mark, uh, I've got a few questions for you. That and more after this.